In this video, I'm gonna share with you how I went from a 180 hitter to a Division I All-American in just three seasons, and how you can easily increase your bat speed three to five miles an hour in just 10 days. My name is Trey Sykes, former Division I All-American, and if there was one thing that I was known for during my career, it was hitting, but that wasn't always the case. So my junior year in high school, I finished the season with a 180 batting average, which as you know, is not very good, right? And I knew that I only had one season left in order to try to get a scholarship to play baseball in college. So uh, after the season was over, me and one of my friends, I remember this day to a T because this is the exact day that changed my life forever. Me and my buddy, we went down to the cage to get some extra work in. And as I was hitting in the cage, this gentleman walks up behind me, had no clue who the guy was. And he stops me in the middle of my hitting session and he says, hey, why don't you try to hit a ball to the opposite field? Because he saw that I was just pulling everything, right? I was a dead pull hitter at the time. And just to kind of like prove this guy wrong, I tried to hit the ball to right field and I couldn't do it. And after that round was over, I stepped out of the cage and this gentleman walked up to me and he said, hey, if you can commit to the process, I will teach you how to hit. I literally just finished the season with the 180 batting average, so I had absolutely nothing to lose. But I had to make a choice. You know, do I want to commit my time and trust this guy that I've never met before, or just keep doing the same things that was making me unsuccessful? So I had to make a decision right there, and I chose to come back the next day and work with this guy and put my faith in him. Because like I said, I had nothing to lose, right? So I showed up the next day and started working with this gentleman and he had me training with this weird looking bat, had this weird knob right above the hands and I had never seen a bat like this. I had no clue what it was used for, but he had me using it during every one of our sessions. So I worked with him for two weeks straight training with this bat and I get to our very first summer league game, right? We're playing our crosstown rival and I go up to the plate very first at bat and left-hander on the mound, throws a two seam that cuts right back over the middle of the plate, and I just put a good swing on it. Up to that point, I had never felt the ball come off my bat that way, and I ended up hitting a home run out the left center, my very first high school home run. So in just two weeks of training with this gentleman and training with this Camwood bat, and I had hit my first high school home run. So it was at that point that I knew that if I wanted to be a successful baseball player and make it to that next level, that this was the process that I needed to follow. I needed to go all in with this gentleman and train with this Camwood bat because I saw so much results so quickly. And fast forward three years later and I was elected as a Division I All-American. So I went from a 180 batting average to a Division I All-American in just three seasons after I started training with the Camwood bat. And a lot of people ask me, well, what changed in order for you to become such a good hitter? And I learned the number one key to hitting. And this is what Frank taught me the very first moments that we started working together. And the number one key to hitting is how to stay inside the ball. And how he taught me that concept was by training with the Camwood bat here. See, the Camwood bat has this knob, has this added weight right above the hands, right? So whenever you start your swing, it's going to promote taking your hands and taking this knob to the ball, which is going to create the proper bat path so your barrel stays in the hitting zone throughout your entire swing, okay? All right, hi everyone, my name's Tony Gwynn. Here to me is where the Camwood bat really kind of sets the table for you, and that is, in order to be a good hitter, you always have to lead with the knob of the bat. You always have to lead with the bottom hand and you let the barrel follow. You let the barrel trail. And if you can learn that concept of staying inside the ball, you're going to become a complete hitter because your timing doesn't have to be perfect. So you can be early, you can be perfectly on time, or you can be a little bit late. But if you stay inside that ball, the barrel and the sweet spot of your bat is gonna be on line with that pitch coming in throughout your entire swing. So your timing can be off, but you're still gonna be able to barrel that ball up and hit on the sweet spot and be able to drive it to all parts of the field. And whenever I learn that concept is when my career skyrocketed. And a lot of people ask me, well, who is this Camwood bat for? I'll tell you, I've worked with six-year-olds all the way up to MLB baseball players, and I've worked with softball players, and they all see the same results, okay? So it doesn't matter if you're in Little League baseball, softball, or if you're playing in the MLB at the highest levels. The Camwood bat is for you because it's going to teach you those proper mechanics of how to stay inside the ball.
And another reason I became such a good hitter is because my bat speed and my power increased drastically in such a short amount of time because of this Camwood bat here. So if you wanna increase your bat speed and power, you want to train with a heavier bat, okay? It's kinda of like going to the gym. If you wanna get stronger in the gym, you go and you lift heavy weights, right? It's no different if you wanna increase your bat speed and power, all right? You want to train with a heavier bat. But the big issue with all the heavy training bats on the market is they're all end loaded. So all the weight is on the end of the bat. So it's kind of like this sledgehammer here with all the weight on the end of the bat. If I were to go swing this, this is gonna feel way too heavy for me to swing and it's gonna break down my mechanics, right? But if you can position the weight right above the hands, it's gonna be much easier for me to control, right? It's no different whenever you're training with the camwood bat here. With the added weight right above the hands, the camwood bat doesn't feel as heavy as it actually is. Did you know that the average MLB bat weight is 32 ounces? Well, here's a video of one of our players who's 12 years old training with a 36 ounce camwood bat. And as you can see, he has absolutely no issues getting this bat through the zone. So that's pretty crazy right there, isn't it? He's 12 years old and he's able to swing a 36 ounce bat with ease. And that's because the design of the Camwood bat with the weight right here above the hands, the bat doesn't feel as heavy as it actually is. So it's going to allow you to train with a heavier bat without breaking down your mechanics. So it's gonna build up those swing muscles, it's gonna make you a lot more powerful, and it's gonna drastically increase your bat speed. And you might be thinking, well, how do I use the Camwood bat? I'll tell you, the Camwood bat is a normal wood bat, okay? So it can be used off of the T-work, off of front toss, off a of machine, but just like any other wood bat, it's liable to break if you hit the ball off the end or get jammed, okay? And you might be also asking, well, how do I know if I'm using this bat correctly? So whenever you order the Camwood bat today, you're gonna get access to the Coach's Guide to Hitting DVD, which is the top four drills that we do with the Camwood bat to make sure that you get the most results possible. And you're also gonna get access to the 10 day bat speed challenge for free, which is the number one bat speed drill that we do with the Camwood bat to make sure that you get at least three miles an hour in the first 10 days. And as you can see here, we have well over 713 five-star reviews for the Camwood bat. So if this worked for over 700 people, don't you think that it would work for you too? And they said that they were skeptical at first, but all they can say is, wow. The results that we have seen so quickly is insane. My son's ball exit speed jumped up five miles an hour after the 10 day bat speed challenge. And they're impressed with the shipping speed as well. See how crazy is that right there? They saw a five mile an hour increase in ball exit speeds in just 10 days after they started training with the Camwood bat. So you're gonna have all the tools that you need to become a successful hitter. So if you're ready to get started today, go ahead and click that button down below and I'll see you inside. This is the best teaching tool that I've run across for young kids in the game. All fathers, parents, coaches, this is the best teaching tool to so use your hands, stay inside the ball, break the back of the consistently to, to, to have a good swing. 